Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where we're going to be playing Milkmaid of the Milky Way. Last time we snuck onto an alien spaceship and after they took our cows and yeah, so I want to know what's going on right now. I'm very optimistic about how this game's going to turn out. So let's load the game and get into it. So here we are on a spaceship, of all things. I had bruised my lip, but was inside the ship. So, I guess we'll go this way. What's this? There was a sheet or panel that I couldn't dismantle. I felt fear. I heard footsteps near. Uh... The old man spoke in a strange tongue his voice and face far from young. Instead of trying to understand, I turned away and ran from that man. Run! Run! Oh no! I don't trust you. The queen light figure stared with eyes so tense, she spoke in a language that made no sense. I told her quite frankly, I don't understand. Your words must derive from a faraway land. I think in that moment we both understood speaking like this would do us no good. Whoa. What did she do to me? Her words sounded strange, but now they made sense. She asked me my name, her voice slightly tense. Um, let's be polite. I told her the truth. My name is Ruth. Ruth, she said, her eyes narrow. It sent a tremor through my marrow. Ma like bone marrow? What? This is the Veda. Welcome aboard. You managed to get here of your own accord. Oh no, everybody's going to be speaking in rhymes now? That's fine. I am Amarita. Call me Impress. Getting on board must have been quite a quest. What can I say? I face my fear. I couldn't just stay and see my own cows disappear. This youthful irrelevance, I find it refreshing. This might have been a blessing. There's something going on here. Uh, let's ask about my the ship. I need to ask, it might have been dumb. What is this ship? Where did you come from? Uh, your questions are many. I'm sure... Let let me ra let me rather give you a tour. Come, she said, and gestured me to follow. Down the corridor, our footsteps sounded hollow. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. I really don't trust this whole entire situation. She's awfully welcoming for a, uh, an alien species. This is cool, though. Welcome to the Veda. Come with me. There is so much to, s to show and much to see. Okay. What is going on right now? Where am I at? <laughs> oh, wow. This is the Viodome, our holy retreat. Here the animals sleep and eat. And there's my cows! This is pretty cool. This is the high point of our tour. As you can see, your cows are secure. Let's ask about animals. All I could say is, what are they? Once the milk beasts were plentiful and diverse, now these are the last four in the universe. Dang, what did you do to the rest of them? Amarita's headlong hung low. Whoa, the last bull died eight aeons ago. Um, wand? What did you do to my head with your wand just before I said? The brief pain notwithstanding, it gave you the gift of understanding. I mean, obviously. But we just had to ask. Now let's ask about our cows. As I asked, my heart nearly skipped a beat. Are my cows merely food for your beasts to eat? 
Amarita laughed. Milk beasts are herbivores. They are peaceful and only eat grass, of course. I must uh, see your cows. I got a word from uh, from our herdsman. He says they're wonderful, quite the specimen. Huh. But what are you guys doing with my cows, then? Are you gonna replace them? Like, milk beasts. So, my cows produce milk, so... Maybe you can get milk from my cows. I let out a huge breath of relief. They hadn't ended up as ground beef. This is Pal, our expert on bovine. He says your cows are divine. His voice was old, I must admit. These are beautiful. A perfect fit. A perfect fit, do you say? For what, if I may? For the sacrifice, of course. He said without remorse. Sacrifice? What sacrifice? Tell me now, and no lies. Girl, please stop your crying. You see, our breed is slowly dying. Through vision blurred, I heard. Only your cows can save our herd. My cows? Only my cows? Not any other cows on the planet, but only my cows. Oh my gosh. Not to kill, per se, but a sacrifice must be made, I'm sorry to say. What does this sacrifice comprise, and why does it lead to my cow's demise? I understand what I'm saying is bold. We transfer youth from young to the old. Now believe it, it must be seen. Let me show you the age machine. Age machine? Her voice was proud. She said, Ruth... This is the machine that regains lost youth. Your cows will save our holy herd, and we have their age transferred. Why do you need my cows for this? It felt like being swallowed by an abyss. Can't you use something else? Like, like a seed from a plant or something? I don't know. Matter for matter, they must be the same. Oh. Uh, Age is an ember, but youth is a flame. Um, can I bargain? Please, there must be some other way. I will do anything, anything you say. Emery's lips curl. Anything, girl? I don't like that. Are you going to take my youth now? Let's not stay and chat. See that circle? Step into that. Uh, no. No, can I leave? Can I leave, please? Nope, no, no, I don't want to go in there. I really just step into the circle, child, she said with a smile. I don't want to step into the circle. No, 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 okay, whatever. This has to happen, right? I asked her what she wanted. She scowled like she was taunted. She said with badly hidden aggression, Give me your most valuable possession. I don't have much to give. I've got my things where I live. Weren't you paying attention this whole sh time? You are literally in an aging machine. She's gonna take your time. Oh, great. I'm still doing it now. Oh my god. No. Bones bent, skate crawled. Heart pounding my mind, appalled. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm extremely old. And overweight. Well, this sucks. This is like literally, I think it's one of the worst things you could probably take from someone. Like, she's just looking around confused. I'm happy to see you up and awake. I'm sure you're confused. Your body must ache. No duh. Oh, I walk around. The, w the way I walk is kind of cute, actually. The man seemed understanding. I didn't have to explain that every part of my body was in excruciating pain. Why is my body different? I asked in dismay. Why is my blonde hair turned so gray? Your youth was stolen by our queen when she put you in the age machine. His shocking words cut me like a knife. 
With a poof, I was at the end of my life. But what can I do? Can I be every reverse? Can I get young again, or am I cursed? I'd love to help you, but I have no years to spare. This ship is filled with elders, as far as I'm aware. Now please excuse me, I have lots of work to do. The feast is soon upon us, and I would hide if I were you. Hide. I picked up an empty jar. Now, where was the nearest bar? It's over here. Is it the nearest bar? The woman looked like a great-grandparent, just skin and bones, almost transparent. Were all these elders here at rest a result of Amarita's youth quest? Once these people had probably been agile, now they're close to death, so fragile. The sleeping person looks so old and frail, breath so heavy, skin so pale. There was no one bed left for you. I hope. Oh, there was one bed left for you. I hope it wasn't meant for me. Gee, I hope not. It's probably meant for this guy, to be honest. Can I talk to him some more? I'll greet him. I'm sorry, I had to exclaim. I never quite got your name. Oh, pardon my for forgetful condition. Go, Paul's my name, the ship's physician. Right now, I'm having trouble with the geese. I'm preparing the brew for the upcoming feast. I hope you've left your less confused, please. Ruth, may I be excused? Hold on, the ship. It was a mystery I needed to unravel. What is a ship, and where, from where do you, did, you, did you travel? We have been traveling for countless generations, searching, visiting, and making new relations. Our history goes back a thousand suns. We have made countless galaxy runs. And you finally found Earth? I was born long after the first bull had died. For ages, Emerita has been our master and guide. We search, we pray, we abide the rules. But the future is bleak and we're kept as old fools. Emerita? I looked around suspicious. Why is Amarita the queen so vicious? Be careful, these walls have eyes and ears. You don't want to lose any more years. Amarita is our queen and supreme leader. Ha 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 She keeps us at bay and forces us to feed her. Everyone's afraid. We bow with closed lips. She controls everything with the staff she equips. She takes care of our herd, that's the truth, but most important is for her is her own youth. She has taken so much many years from our lives. When we are, we are gone, she's the one who survives. But then she will have no more years to take, and soon she will grow old and die and feel your, all, all your guys' pain. I'll greet this person. I asked the lady who was sewing, hello there, how's it going? Hello, dear. I'm awfully occupied. Her face looked puffy. She recently cried. I'm Ruth the Milkmaid, I said. And I'm Anissa. I work with Needle and Fred. Okay, nothing to rhyme, okay? Sewing. The sewing looked terribly painstaking. What, may I ask, are you making? Oh, my stars, I'm going to be sick. This cake I'm making is far too thick. Amarita demands a flowing cape, but my fabrics are heavy and won't hold its shape, so I have to get, um, some thinner thread, I guess? I can make, make these clothes fly a, like silk, in time before the Feast of the Milk. Age Machine. Do you know a way to get young again? Maybe I could trade years with some younger men? A seamstress went quiet, her sewing was slow. She muttered, I'm sorry, I wouldn't know. Okay, let's walk over here. Wait, who's that? The materials looked heavy and fat, thick like carpet, thick like a mat. What the f- Oh, hello, I spotted a tuft of black hair. Hey, who's back there? 
I, I knew I saw someone. I wasn't going crazy. Um, this is Helene, the last boy on board. The last boy on board. Oh, boy, not man, I guess. He must be hidden until order is restored. If Amarita finds out all hope is lost, we must keep him a secret at all costs. When I grow up, I'll change the rules. I won't, the, I won't let the queen treat us like fo fools. You tell him. You tell him. You stick it to the man. Hey, Lum. My boy, your time will come. But now I need, need you to keep mum. Now quick, go hide, Amnesa cried. He's going to come in handy for getting my youth back, isn't he? Just a hunch. But how else am I going to do it? What the heck is this thing? Oh god, I walk so slowly now, man. Jesus Christ, Eddie Christmas. I give it a stare. There is nothing there. It was a revolving spool spinning like a whirlpool. Hmm. So like a stool for like th thread or something? So if I find some material, I might have to use that. Uh, I remember that from, uh, from, uh, the mill. Hello. Great. Hello there, miss. I am the mechanic. This. What? You look new. Have I seen you before? And what did you come down here for? I expire my dire ex situation. Viss shook his head for the whole duration. How can she demand our support when all she does is extort? Exactly, if you're a leader. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Oh, did he say something else? Repairing. What are you repairing, I asked, and looking at the strange thing. It's a hover sled, an older design. We used it to hurt our bovine. But there's been problems with the steering. It has a tendency to suddenly start veering. And of course no one here can ride the sled. We're too old and soon we'll all be dead. Do you need help to fix it? I can aid. You just have to teach me the tools of the trade. There's not much you can do to help. I think, unless you can get me something cool to drink. Oh, I know how to get that. Wait, this is... You see me sweating? An empty glass. I'm getting old. Okay. Jeez, man. I mean, I guess if I were under the rule of some, like, cranky queen who only cared about her beauty or her youth... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just piles of heavy textile. Just walk without talking, please. I would be a little cranky, too, myself. I'd be a little impatient. So can I grab this? Feast. I asked with slight apprehension, What is this feast you mentioned? When the milk feasts are rejuvenated, we celebrate. Amarita, the queen, demands it, and we must fill her plate. Gopal's head hung. I wish it was I who got young. Can I grab that? Please don't touch that drink. It's not ready, I think. You think? Oh, how can I? I guess I'm gonna have to distract him. What's... I never touched, uh... It's over here. Nope. It looks like the rising beam of light. Just couldn't... It reverse gravity, but just not quite. What's that? It was hard on my body to nail, but I picked up a bolt made of steel. Alright, I got a bowl. What's this? A glowing matter was shining so great under the stuck bent metal plate. I hadn't been here long, but I guess it meant that something was wrong. <laughs> something, as in a very much couple of things. Would this thing get his attention? Oh, yeah, here he comes. Oh, I can get it. Nice. I could take that glass, yes, but that would create a big mess. Wait, what? Oh, I probably have to... Hmm. Let's 
let's get them all over here again. I think maybe I have to replace the glass. With, with that. Alright, there you go. I switched the glasses hoping what I was doing would it cause problems for the doctor's brewing. What's this? Oh, you're not gonna look at with that guy there, would you? Alright, let's go. We're on a mission to get some a guy some um broth? Whoa, get out of here. Notifications from YouTube. We don't need you. I'm, I'm assuming it's broth, though. There you go. Yeah, there you go, huh? Now, help me, please? Oh, he, he... Did you see that smile? He was happy. You are a kind woman. You're the first who's come down here to quench my thirst. Well, thanks. I don't know... Quite know, but it was. But I, I'm glad you like it, man. Repairing. What are you repairing? I. I have read this already. Um, can I take something? He looked up and said, with a certain snide, "To use that dimensional focuser, you need to be qualified." Hey there, let me. Let me set you straight. No one touches my void crate. Don't touch that, he said with a scoff. That power tooth will rip your face right off. Come on, man. It looks like some kind of blueprint. Symbol so tiny I had to squint. It looks like a map of some sort. What are you repairing, my ass? That tool is meant for a specific task. Come on, man. You want this bolt? You're the only one working on this kind of stuff. Hmm, looks like an elevator bolt to me. You can borrow my drill to get those free. Oh, cool. Now I can take it. I normally don't lend out my tools, but you've been so kind on bending the rules. Good. Because I literally don't know what else to do. If I couldn't take it... Then what else would I possibly do? I mean, you guys kind of have to help me out here. Am I- am I the one- Am I gonna have a boss battle with this evil queen or something? Yes, piles of clothes in different styles. Stack into piles of piles. Alright. So now I could use it on this thing. Right? If I open the metal cover, maybe the glowing matter I'll discover. Alright. Will that do? Um. What is that? It looks like smoke or something. It was a strange soft material lightened in air. Oh, I know what I'm gonna use that for. Because... We kind of need that. That's her material. That's what we're using this for. So, can I... I don't think she can knit with that. I took out the floating blob and asked if that could help her job. Hmm. That looks like almost w witching, but I can't use a blob for stitching. That's what I thought. You'd have to... I'd have to use that spinny thing, I would think. Like, a stool and thread, or something. That's the only other thing I could think of at the moment. Let's put that there. I remember Mother, back on the farm. We had a sheep. She was spinning yarn. Ah, yes. We, they also had the... Okay, yeah, I remember that thing in her house. The spinning... Jenny? I don't know. That went quite well, I said, as I looked for the floating thread. As I looked at the floating thread. The blob has spun too thick. Has spun to a thin, fine, ugh, a thin, fine thread. 
if I touch the small my my uh, fingers would shred. Can I use that? Apparently, I can. The ethereal broad had spun into a yarn that weighed none. Great. Now I'll go give it to the woman. Everybody will be satisfied. I hope. Hopefully that woman still has her job and all that stuff, you know? Oh, she looks amazed. Oh my, what a wonderful thing you brought. I um, mean, floating string. This could make the cape float. Her voice thick, a lump in her throat. Oh hey, better fix that elevator before the queen sees, or else she'll reprimand us and have us on our knees. I mean, can't they just, like... The cape is done as you commanded. Can't you see me back there? She took all the, uh, the youth, so her m eyesight must be decently. Whoa! Yes, my queen, it took me a while to shape this delicate textile. I forgot the rust. I'm sorry. Well, for starters, I don't like the color. And for size, why make it smaller? Come on, she didn't have that much to work with. Never satisfied. Am I not a righteous queen who serves, protects, and keeps our grass green? Uh... No, you're not. Should I not be well dressed at least in time for the important before the important feast? Uh, you suck, of course. Without remorse, I work and pray and keep our herd alive for another day. I, I why I ask you you to do one easy job, and you do it carelessly. Like a slob. I'm gonna give her a voice. You are not a person who cares. I think you owe me some of your years. Hey, that doesn't rhyme. You suck. No. Go. Oh my gosh, I hate her so much. This this boy it's just going down. Hey kids, stay. There is another way. Listen, I have a plan. If you want to stop this madness, you'll have to be a man. You help my mother, I'll help you. Just tell me what you want me to do. Look, time is of the essence. Let's skip your whole adolescence. I mean, if you want that, I just don't want to... You know, I feel uncomfortable about taking this. Are you sure you want to go through with this? There's nothing about my childhood I'll miss. I mean, I shiver ran from my feet to my shoulder. That was a circle, the one that turned to older. So I'm gonna get younger. I'm not sure how this works. I must confide. But please try standing on the other side. Okay. So... I'm not sure how to turn it on. Maybe we just count down. Three, two, one. I don't think that worked. Oh, it worked. Again, I feel com uncomfortable taking people's ages. Like, I mean, at least I'm back and I can run. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Is that her? Hold on. So how does it feel to be grown? Halem replied with a groan. I'm sure... I sure feel different. More old than new. Also, I see everything from a different point of view. It's such a long way down to the floors. But my voice seems darker, of course. Growing up is tough on body and mind. We'll catch up, take the rest, and unwind. Mother, what has she done? It's Halem, your son. Oh no. I knew it was her. I mean, who else would it be? I could hear Halem sawing and crying. E even a man grieves his mother is dying. These people have worries far bigger than mine. My resolved heart, I'd forced the queen to resign. 
Alright, I like this. I kept a respectful distance. I wait till later ask for assistance. Alright. Are you alright? I asked a the man. A poor sight. Oh, my stars. Thank you, Ruth. But things are not good, to tell you the truth. I was trying to make a brew for the feast when something happened and the pressure increased. Suddenly, the brewing machine exploded. They're old and the pipes had probably corroded. Everything is lost. The queen will be so cross. This has to stop. We have to contravene. I just need to know, how can I stop the queen? Steal the staff. It contains the power, but don't get caught. It will be your final hour. Here, let me help you to your feet before I show the queen her defeat. Nah, just let an old man sit and rest. Go get the staff. Do your best. I'll do my best. I'll do more than my best. I'll do my worst. To the queen, that is. I'm, I'm totally sucked into the story, too. Because now I just have an antagonist. And what else can I do? You got back to your youth? Good on you, Roof. Um, repair. How's the repair go going? Is there any progress showing? Well, the engine is soon done. But the hood fell off on the rasp one. The hover sled needs a new bonnet. Don't worry, I'm on it. Oil gun? Can I borrow your oil can? I asked the old man. Well, he's an old man. It's almost empty. A sad state of affairs. I need for oiling and squeaky repairs. I have a feeling I'm going to be taking this oil gun. Because I need it, so we're going to have to trick him into using it or something. Oh, there's something right here, too. It was Amnesia's needle she used for sewing. She wouldn't mess up where she was going. Wow. Wow. That's so low. I mean, it's true, but... Dang. <laughs> so look at this place. I mean, this place. Look at this place. This place was so fascinating. Flying staircases, lights pulsating. What's this? It looks like a memo memorial or a holy place with a statue centered with a milk beast's face. I don't understand these people's beliefs, but the shine was decorated with flowers and leaves. It okay. What's up here? I want to look- I mean, obviously, I'm going to look at all these places. Oh. I could vaguely see the queen through the glass. I had to be careful. I didn't want to trespass. Yeah, let's get out of here. I feel suddenly very uncomfortable. What's that? A piece of flute lying there, rotten. Maybe a sacrifice. Maybe just forgotten. Alright, I'll take it. I'm gonna use this time for a bunch of collection. Oh, this is pleasant music. A bland smell coming from a stew. Maybe it's needing something fresh and new. Uh, food. Hey, chef. Looked like he the chef looked like he was swearing. What dish are you preparing? A veggie stew for the celebration. But for me, this is only frustration. We ran out of a spice a long time ago, so everything tastes bland, you know? All I got are these tasteless fruits. Oh, how I long for some fresh fruits. Well, I just found a rotten fruit. If this meal disappoints the queen, she'll retire me, if you know what I mean. Oh, God. The knife looks sharp. Do you have another? Maybe I could borrow one if it's no bother. Sorry, miss. I need my blade to cut these brutes, I'm afraid. But if you could get me something tasty for the stew, something fresh, I could probably lend it to you. Alright, goodbye. Okay, so I do have this fruit, and we have an age reversal machine, so maybe I can find a 
another decent fruit or something. We could we could switch it up a bit. I don't know. Let's go up here. Hey, what's this? Greet. Welcome to the ship's room. You are roof, I presume. How does she know my name? I stammered, yes, how did you know? Behind the, her hood, her face wouldn't show. I'm the librarian, knowledge is my trade. We waited a long time for you. We have prayed. For me? Uh, library. I gave the room some looks. If this is a library, where are the books? All our knowledge is embedded in this hall. I'm the one who picks up the answers from the wall. Every square is a piece of information. My work is finding the right translation. My mind was trying to adjust its war world view. And what is the floating water statue? We call it the Oracle, but <laughs> mostly rhetorical. Answers are most of the time simple and pure, but asking the right questions is difficult for sure. The oracle helps you with the most important task, how to ask. Um, waited. You say you waited for someone like me? I don't understand. I'm just a nobody. Don't be so hard on yourself. Ha, never think little of yourself and your power. Every life matters and you will, will have your hour. A single grain can stop the cogs of the machine. A tiny egg if hatched can become a queen. You are young. You are a coiled spring. You are the one who can change everything. Um, alright, goodbye, thanks. If, do you have a question, you oracle might give you a suggestion. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? As I looked into the water's reflection, I felt a wave of introspection. If I may be so bold, what does my future hold? We know the past, but barely the present. The future is unknown until the time is spent. Wow, thanks. I guess? I have a- I, I do have a question. As I looked into the water's reflection, I felt a wave of introspection. Is there life after death? I asked under my breath. The answer is difficult to construe. It's neither false nor true. I'm glad you don't give direct answers, but give me a direct answer. How long have you been traveling? There were so many mysteries unraveling. In your time frame, 7,000 years, we've seen countless frontiers. Interesting. I'm gonna walk over here now. Dang. 7,000 years in the sky. Man, sh time sure does fly. <laughs> Hello. Hello there, ladies. How do you do? My name is Ruth. Nice to meet you. You hear that, Tithy? She called you a lady. You don't deserve that tell. You're so shady. Oh, that's mean. They're both laughing, though. Gute Sava, you're no better. Remember the mechanic? He fled your bedroom naked in a panic. Uh. <laughs> wow. So are you in charge of the decorations? They look nice. Congratulations. It's a secret, but I'll spoil it. We dragged the garlands through the toilet. <laughs> wow. I like these people. You see, we don't like the queen very much. She is unstable and uses the staff as a crutch. Before I take my cows back to my farm, I'll stop her so she can do no more harm. That's the spirit. I wish I was your age. Uh, when my breasts weren't below my rib cage. But seriously, we wish you the best of luck. Tell the queen she's a stupid, lame duck. You know what? I will deliver those words for you. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I met them. They're pretty dang awesome. All right. Yeah. Let's look. Let's use this tool because I think that's what this is for. I took the metal plate. It was quite lightweight. 
I think that that is gonna go on top of the, um, the flying machine. What's this? For a moment, I forgot my troubles mesmerized by floating bubbles. Hey, this is a salt thing. It was one of those huge salt pillars. Maybe they were used by some distillers. Interesting. You have anything to say about this? This was part... This was the part I understood least. Inside the circle, time deceased. Decreased. Well, decreased, deceased. Mm, same difference, kind of. Alright, go up. Go, go up. Up here is where the cows are, correct? Yeah, there they are. They look so sad. The beasts were big, a sight to behold. Peaceful and leathery, they surely looked old. Oh, poor things. I bet they long for the sweet release of death. After that, they been, after what they'd been through, it was quite amazing. They were just quietly and happily grazing. Let's talk to this dude. Cows. Please, there must be a way be some way that you can save my cows today. My hands are bound, I'm afraid. Amrita holds the power. She can't be swayed. And even if I were to be trying, our holy herd is still dying. Milk breast? Beast? I almost said milk breast. What is wrong with the beast over there? Her horn is broken. Her breath irregular. This is Yagita. She is a wild one of the herd. Last time in the age machine, something occurred. She went berserk and her tail flung. Almost like she he didn't want to get young. Now we must tie her down and make her stay and feed her sleeping grass and keep her at bay. Alright, goodbye. I'll take some of that sleepy grass, I think. I took some yellow plants and stuck them down my pants. I think there's sleeping grass, so no need to try it. That would go awry. Some, some buds I found on the lawn. Smelling them made me yawn. Okay, yeah. What's the, there's something right here, too. What's, what's that? I mean, I mean, I know it's a frog, but what noise? I'm gonna get this frog. Hey, stop. No, don't hop. I'm gonna get you. Hey, froggy, please wait. I will put you on a plate. Come back here! The frog went far quicker than me. When I bent down, it wanted to flee. I'm gonna get that thing. Oh, my cow! Like with her wonderful physique, had caught the frog that went squeak. Thank you! What would I do without you? Cool. So we got a lot of items. We've seen the whole ship, I believe, except for the inside of Amarita's room. And I'm sure, I'm sure I, ha I have a, quite a bit of an idea of what I need to do now. But I am going to leave it off on here. Thank you guys. And so far this game has gone wonderfully, by the way. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Um, but you're still gonna see this part, because I don't know how to edit it out yet. So. <laughs> Alright. Now, goodbye. <laughs>